Hello, Diana, Diana Dreyer Designs. I'm gonna do a little bragging today, not about myself, but about my nephew. Um, his name is Nick Falzoni. He graduated from Cal Poly with an architectural degree, and he's an incredible uh, woodworker. I received this bud base holder piece from him. It's made out of walnut and it's just, it's got the three vials that hold the water. And um, I recently just started playing around with it and it's just uh, really incredible what the, all the different looks that you can get. And so you're all gonna want one because it's just so, so, so cool. I'm going to use it in a couple of different ways. So I'll break up the segments and, and do them separately, but I'm gonna put a little bit of foliage. I've trimmed the green plants again. That's one of my things that I do. Um, this is a, a, a philodendron piece and it's just um, really long lasting. So I'm gonna place that in. I've got a couple of those. With this vials, you don't, it doesn't, you don't need much because there's a fairly small opening and yet the possibilities are endless. How much fun it would be to fill this with herbs, you know, trimmed off mint or basil or uh, rosemary, that kind of thing, and just and have it on your, you know, um, dining room table, kitchen table, island in the kitchen, all kinds of places. So, okay, a little bit of foliage, and I think I'm going to put a little bit of. I've broken off some short pieces of my one of my favorites, the silver dollar eucalyptus. So we'll put some of those in as well for, I love the difference in the colors of green. And when you have a big piece of silver dollar eucalyptus, like I've used in another piece, I like to break off the small ones so that, and use them. And it'll, it, this is the perfect application. So, so a little bit of foliage. And one more. Then I have the most yummy, sunshiny, beautiful little creatures here called ranunculus They're from Trader Joe's. They're just so, so gorgeous. Look, they're like just so perfect. They're just incredible. The buds are as cute as the open flowers. They're, I oh, just love them. So with this piece, one bloom in each, we'll try first. Always cut at an angle. Um, when you and I use a knife, if you use a scissors or a clipper or something like that, that's fine too. But make sure to always cut at an angle so that your stems don't. If they do sit on the bottom of the vase, that they, um, if they're flat cut, they may create like a suction and not take water up properly. And as with a diagonal cut, um, there's more space for the water to be taken up as well. Now this stem, I'm cutting in two pieces and I'm gonna use this little skinny bud stem as well. I'll cut it a little bit shorter, but that's, I just love it all, so I don't wanna let any of it go to waste. So just this little tiny piece is just delightful. So we're gonna put that in too. And because the little vials don't hold a lot of water, it'd just be, you'd have to be conscientious of that and just add water every day. Make sure that they're filled up so the flowers will last. So we'll do another one here. And I want to do a little bit of bare grass with it. Just because I have some odds and end pieces hanging around here. So just because I think it'll look really nice with this. Just simple, botanical, super, super simple. Now I'm going to try, so here's one in each. This one would be prettier if it was a little shorter. There. So that's just one. Let's do two. That'll be wonderful. The ranunculus come in so many great colors as well. And they look somewhat fragile, but they really last pretty long. So enjoy. 
pick a bunch up today. Using those little buds again. My encouragement and my one of my goals in life is to get people to be comfortable using flowers more often for their own enjoyment, for, for friends or relatives as gifts, um, and to kind of know what to do with them. I think some of us are a little bit hesitant because we feel like, oh, I don't know how to do that, or I don't know how to make them look good. So that's one of my little goals in life is to help you feel confident in making them look good. And like a container like this from Nick, and it's under, he, he has, um, he has an Instagram presence and it's Nick Felsoni Design. Um, take a look, he does just incredible work. So let's see, I'm gonna turn this around. Let's see what it's looking like. So I've got, I've got stones on both sides so that um, it'll look good from, if you had it in the center of a dining table or something on that order. Want to be just right. I don't want to mess with them too much so I don't break the stems. Here we go. Okay, look how simple and yet so pretty. And look at this cool container. Just love it. Thanks for watching. Ranunculus and Nick Falzoni designed bug base piece. Thanks.